Hi guys, it's me, Steph. So I'm in Bellevue, Washington at a writers conference and it is through Northwest Christian Writers Association. It is called the Imagine Writers Renewal Conference. So today I've been to three workshops and just really came here praying and hoping for direction for my writing career. And today I felt like I really got a couple of um, people that gave me some great advice. I happened to be writing a story about a lady who survived cancer who I work with, and she went through so many things, like um, a divorce at the same time, all of a sudden becoming a single mom while she's going through this cancer that she could have died from. Um, it's fatal. And so she survived, and she looks like she's doing good now. So I'm writing about her story and her journey. And um, also, uh, this lady I re met one-on-one -on -one with, she let me read one of my unpublished articles, and so she gave me some really good feedback and said that um, she thought I would be a really great Christian political satire writer because there is not a lot of people that write politics that love Jesus, <laughs> I guess you might say. So anyways, she just kept going, around here there's not a lot of people that write like you do. And so she said, you just... Um, Study satire more, and um, you're a really great writer, and I want you to email me and tell me all the great things that happened because you focused on the right things, so, for you. So, anyways, I'm really excited about that, and um, eating today, I've had macadamia nuts. I could have had a box lunch, but I decided not to get that, and um, I walked past the table with cookies on it before I walked out of my last workshop. And that was really funny because I just looked over and I looked back and I thought, you know, it's not even an option. I mean, I haven't even had sugar since I've been, uh, since I started HCG. So I've had no sugar unless there was some in a Papa Murphy's pizza that my husband and I had. But I have not had um, anything but substitute sugar. So I don't want to start that crack. So um, I'm staying away from it, and um, I'm hoping that I can just always keep that attitude. It's not an option. So um, so tonight, don't know what I'm doing for food, but all day all I've had is macadamia nuts, and I have never had macadamia nuts since I started HCG. So this has been interesting, and it'll be interesting to see how they do with me, because um, I know a lot of them, a lot of people eat them regularly, but since I've never had them, on HCG, off HCG, whatever, as far as since the journey started, I don't know how they're going to affect me. So, anyways, um, hope you guys are all doing well, and um, I just wanted to say, Kim from Texas, you were talking about your bra and your bra size, and I wanted to tell you all that um, I also wanted to share my size, too, because, you know, we're such an intimate community here. So, um... I just wanted to put kind of like an all call out there for any of you guys that have teenage daughters that maybe have grown out of their training bras. Can you just send them my way? <laughs> and, and I'm pretty much serious because everything's getting too big and I'm pretty small. <laughs> so it's a great problem to have, whatever, I don't care. So I would rather be 30 pounds lighter, 50 pounds lighter is my goal. and. So if that means I'm flat as a board, bring it on, baby. <laughs> so anyway, take care, guys. Bye.